Everybody, hello, hello, and welcome to a New Year's Eve edition of uh, Play and Talk. I the last Play and Talk of the year. 2020, as as John of Alder would say, fuck 2020. Definitely. Yeah, I am Noronak, and this is Show the Hawk. Hello, and, good to see everyone here. Yeah, and... Alright, so we have a lot to talk about, so let's try to hurry up, because I have to be with my family by the time the ball drops, so... Let's just go with whatever it is, the topics that we can think of. Yeah, so, like Adobe Flash. Nord, like, you go first. Yeah, so, so, so to, start, to start off on a bit of a sad, uh, sad note, Adobe Flash will be ending, uh, is, is it just about to end, which is kind of... Oh, the Flash TV show? <laughs> no, Flash, I saw Adobe Flash. CW Flash. Adobe, you know, the Flash... Oh, uh, Adobe Flash, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, Oh my god, that's actually ending? That's been around for as long as I can remember. <laughs> yeah. Like, in every computer I've ever used in any program, Adobe Flash has always been there. I know, which just makes it all the more sad. It's just like... Yeah, there, uh, yeah sure, there, be, uh, there are better... Oh, we are doing a private match for this, right? Oh, no, public. For... Yeah, I'm saying that let's do a private match, so that way we don't have any randoms in ours. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. I wish you would have told me. Yeah, we can just quit real quick, and then we'll just do a private match, because I prefer doing privately for Horde. Oh, with uh, bots, right? Uh, no bots, just the two of us. And right. obviously on beginner difficulty. That way it's a very, like, casual experience. Fair enough. So, well, look, well I'll have to Horde say, mode. certainly it's sad to see that. Uh, 22, uh, 20, uh, 20 waves, 50, or 12? Uh, let's do, um... Yeah, uh, let's do Horde Frenzy, no bots, and let's start at wave one. <laughs> okay, and... Right, I'll be supporting in case as, in case something happens to be uh, Gabe. So yeah, yeah, I'm kind of sad to see uh, Adobe go, even though the HTML5 and other uh, and others like it are better than Flash. It's just... I'm just kind of sad. Uh, it's, I'm just going to miss it, you know? Of course. It's something that's always been there. Oh, we're oh, it's not inconceivable. I'm just gonna put it on beginner, because. And so I guess now we may as well go into movie and uh, well, TV stuff because there's also plenty of that that's happened. Like, in, like the Mandalorian, I kind of uh, we're gonna do some spoilers if you've seen it. Um, wait, wait. so spoilers. We'll give you ten seconds to be able to go, and anything we say past that ten seconds is all spoilers for both Mandalorian, Wonder Woman eighty four. So yeah. you've been warned. <laughs> And also with some controversy around seconds. you. Yeah, ten seconds are up. So, I love uh, uh, how Luke appeared at the end of this uh, final episode of the second season of the. I uh, did too. I thought it was really great. Yeah. I, I and so then I actually kind of cried. At, at, I kind of cried out only with his appearance because I kind of miss him. And what also surprised me is the as the uh, sudden announcement of the uh, of the of the Boba Fett. Book announced. of Boba Fett. Yeah, the book of Boba Fett. <laughs> I guess apparently that's the so-called new chapter that Kathleen Kennedy mentioned in that investor report uh, for that, because that is the one coming in December 2021. Although it is not replacing Mandalorian Season 3, John Favreau has confirmed that after they finish working on the Book of Boba Fett, Season 3 resumes after that. Yeah, so, so it'll just be taken over for next year. So now we can also get to the part that I also always love getting to the discussions with this, though. The people who are bitching and moaning about oh it. Oh my god! <laughs> I just, I just love you, I just love you, you tell me go talk very fast, like Morden, like Morden Solas. It's just like, <laughs> I'm just... So it's like, yeah, because, you know, nothing would ever be a major Star Wars production if there were not a bunch of uh, fans on one direction or another pissing and moaning about it. Yeah, so like... So, in this one... Yeah, like in this case, it's basically, oh my God, Luke showing up and just de and destroying a bunch of dark troopers. That's fan service. And now, of course, now I'm seeing on my feed though. Anytime I watch oh, one of the few Star Wars YouTubers I actually watch, uh, basically being all, oh my God, this is proof it's gonna retcon the sequels. Which it's five years say, after Episode Six. Five years. And also, I say next off. These people do know that that Dave Filoni likes the sequels, really, enemy right? Like really likes it. He, oh, in fact, decided to make a whole show about it. Yeah, like, not only, like, he, like uh, John Fur uh, Furu, the guy who, you know, made the first two Iron Man movies, decided, like, I want to tie in all three trilogies. 
That's not so iconic. again, why would they really retcon in the yeah. first place? Of it, course, I know the reason these people are saying it. If I were to say for people who are confused, what is giving the impression? Basically, again, to put spoilers for this. So at the finale of the of season two of Mandalorian, Luke, Luke Skywalker shows Must up no and ends contact. up pulling out his lightsaber and hacking and slashing and destroying a whole load of of dark. Yeah, yeah, this is a pretty big it's clearly meant to be a but I wouldn't tell you exactly what But one, it's very universal. And two, this one is meant to be saving as opposed to it's meant to be heroic instead of horrifying, as it was in the later holidays. But basically, yeah, it's really meant to be a horrifying to that specific So, what's the deal? Well, basically, after that, it was pandering to those kind of fans, and uh, so I'm the fans man. also to their participation. Come on, and we don't go to the pieces, so this means, on, uh, it, yeah, so therefore this means that they have, in fact, secret plans oh, to work yeah. on everything in the sequel trilogy because of this one very yeah, because, person. Okay, uh, first of all, as a lot of people have already made posts, well, this, this falls perfectly in line because this is more Return of the Jedi Luke, not Old Man Luke. Old Man Luke. Yes, I, I kind of like that nickname because Old Man Luke and Old Man Will. I'm not talking about the comics. Yeah, I know. So I'm like, so yeah, that's the first thing with it, is that first of all, it is in fact meant to, um, it is meant to very much symbolize what Return of the Jedi Luke is. And I agree with Star Wars Explained, one of the few YouTubers I actually do like following, that yeah, this is admittedly is a very tricky port, part of his character at this point. He said that in Return of the Jedi, he threw his lightsaber away. In The Last Jedi, he uses the Force without violence. So this is supposed to be how do you transition to that. And yeah, like a lot of people have said, yeah. it transitions uh, If you, if you also well. remember, Ahsoka is very hesitant around, uh, if, if he hesitant, uh, like, to, hesitant to train, uh, Grogu, aka Baby Grogu, Yoda. not Grogu. Logu. I honestly thought yeah. it was... Uh, I, I am not good with the names. It's good, yeah. I was just a bit nitpicky there. But as far as, like, with that stuff, so yeah, that was one aspect of it, because they thought that it was doing that, even though it falls perfectly in line with what Luke will be when he gets older. Yeah, because, again, this is the part where he mentions how he took on that legendary status. And also, yeah, Red it Tony, seems a lot of people seem to, Star Wars, a lot of uh, also to forget and how Trilogy made about $4 billion with numerous tie-ins. Uh, tie and also, I know a lot of these people would love to believe otherwise, but no, the sequel trilogy is not hated by the average movie-going audience. It's All in right, fact really freaking beloved. <laughs> it's at least very that well liked as the movie not outright loved. As for example, oh. for even The Last Jedi, the movie that was supposedly oh, so it. controversial, and yet it was a movie that was the highest grossing uh, oh. Blu-ray in 2018. Oh, shit, and even though it was... And even though it was beaten by Avengers uh, Infinity War, it was by a very, very tiny margin. Too small to actually say. They don't teach that in officer's school. I'm actually kind of curious. How, how did the other two uh, entries in the sequel trilogy hold up? Um, nice. with the Force Awakens. Well, and obviously, and well, obviously the Force Awakens didn't hold up. Uh, but, um, again, while the finale may be the least financially successful, from everything I've seen, the average audience went, yeah, it was a really good thing. Enemy eliminated. Yep. So, I'm saying so from that, but I'm like, yeah, that's because a lot of these uh, YouTubers are still under this impression that the average audience that doesn't like it. Again, even though it made a lot of money there, at least also Echo that it made many people who use the franchise, and also it ended up being something that, again, was among the best selling stuff in, in those later years. So, yeah, it is the case. <laughs> and also, on top of that, as far as like, the other elephant in the room, where I've seen a lot of people go, oh my god, this is fan servicey, and there are some people who want to try to argue that it's not, but I have another um, argument. Uh, okay, it is. Start so your what? What, what? what are you playing as right now? That skin looks... I'll take those. Uh, Father Beer's Miss <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that looks awesome. Start I love it, too. I have this in a lot of things so therefore do that, which is, this is the top five stance when it comes to fan service. Anything you do in a series that you have to do in a series, or you use a lot of old series like Star Wars, anything you do when it comes to a new thing can absolutely be labeled fan service, regardless of what direction you go. Yeah. That's why admittedly I find it very funny 
to arguing with them, acting as if what they would have liked to say. And then non sexual. Both the sexual and the non sexual kind of Because see, fan service doesn't have a Miriam Webster definition, so we don't have a strict technical definition. But at least from what I could research, the general definition of fan service refers to when a writer, author, whoever, basically does Enemy's something down, that is meant out. to Gotta essentially regroup. give enjoyment to the audience. Excellent. Something that they would want to see. Isn't that, it is isn't that, isn't that like most entertainment in general? Theory. Like, really? Huh? Isn't that like most, most entertainment in general? Nice. Not all, but like, yeah, there are plenty of animes though, like for in like references of fan service. It can be that sexual like, say, and and oh. sexual and sexual. Um, um, but it's not character. exclusively that. And as I said, it can mean anything. Did two characters become friends that who were initially enemies who you wanted to see have that transition? Did yeah. two people fall in love that you wanted to go and see? That? Was there a fight between two characters that you were looking forward to, etc.? This is what I mean. Part of I kind of use this as my calculation. Oh shit! Let's take the season 3 finale and the series finale of Avatar The Last Airbender, specifically with Zuko and Katara fighting Azula in the final battle. Is, is it, it season 4? I, I think it's season 4. No. No, see, we only had four seasons. Water, Earth, and Fire. Oh shit, I, I, I honestly thought it had four, you know, four elements. Understood, but yeah, it only had the three seasons there. So oh. I'll take that as my example. Oh, so it's like, could that fight have been Yes, but so what? If I wanted to go with the anti fan service kind of thing, then I wouldn't have had um, Zuko fight first. I would have had talk to him. I would have had Oshu you know. before he fights the Fire Lord. Would that have been the non fan service route? Absolutely. Excellent. But I tell anyone, would that have been as emotionally satisfying? Nope. And I would see people who will counter that with, well, that was done, well, that was sensible to the story. The, the uh, definition of fan service doesn't care about whether something is executed well. Its only main thing is that the reference to it is basically that it is enjoyment to the audience. So in this case, yes, fans of the series were really wanting to see the reality of the world because she caused all the pain throughout what we clearly saw it is in time to fight. So people were like, so we were like, okay, so we want to go and see the um, people. Oh, and also, on the other hand, oh, I, I also remember oh, the part where oh, what happened to uh, Azula at the end. She's just like bawling and breaking down. And despite every yeah, horrible thing that she, she clearly knows that she lost. But I'm saying from that, what well, my point uh, on that route would be. Um, shit, trying to think of what to say. Um, oh, so I was there. Um, it's just, it's so just, basically, like, yeah, it was supposed to yeah. be that. So it's like, yeah, a lot of fans wanted to see that happen. Like, they did want to see uh, um, Zuko do so. And also with Katara, because obviously she feels that she um, failed and that she These feels that she playing. nearly got Aang killed when, she, when he got struck by that bolt of lightning by Azula. Oh. So again, if I were to go and say as to, like, alright, so is it fans or not sure, but would you have preferred if I used someone like Toph, or if I did King Boomy from The White Lotus, or if I did Aang himself, it's like, would that have made you feel better? No. And I'm willing to bet they would go and say, oh, no, it's because it's Avatar, feels... my brother watched both, uh, both series, and he, he's kind of, he's, he's kind of not happy with the fact that Aang is kind of sticking to his, um, uh, his morals, uh, I'm not here system, like even against, um, the main bad guy. Fire Emperor. I forgot. I forgot. People seem to often mistake him what he's doing for passive. He's more of a pack now. Because he's doing it as he doesn't have to kill someone. I find a lot of people really don't seem to know the difference between pragmatism and pacifism. I see the same thing when people say that Jedi don't kill. It's not that Jedi are not the same thing. They're fighting against the people who bear themselves and they're the power of the people. I think so. Where, um, where, um, where, 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 he even says that we're, um, that the troopers are the peace, not soldiers. And yet, we see in episode 3, he's very clearly the chancellor with no trial because he means it too dangerous to be left alive, even though it is in complete contradiction of his, uh, uh, his morals as a judge. And that was what he was trying to say. That the Jedi are a particular way specifically, how do they know he was not losing their way as time went on? Too easy. That's 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 that's
now. Like, if you want to see it, go and talk to military and it. They will tell you, it really fucks you up. Yeah. So, like, hey, so, he clearly was aware that people kept saying that he had to go to kill him. But then he went to away. Just take away his fire bending, even though it was something that, from the person that he learned it, I can't remember the name of the creature, but I at least remember what it taught him, was that yes, it's possible to take away, but this is an extremely dangerous thing and can very easily kill you. And so he's like, yeah, I took it away. I don't have to kill you, but at least I can still put you down. Like, these people do remember, Aang actually fought Good the Fireborn. Shit. He didn't, like, be like, oh, hey, here, let's go talk this over some tea and Got cigars, it. and then we'll go and talk about our problems. Security like, no, they all fought them out. Yep. But again, I'll Avatar is more about, hey, let's actually be pragmatic with this. Let's try to keep the bloodshed to a minimum, and also not be freaking super happy that we are actually fighting this thing. Yeah, and like, 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 the characters who look over Azula, just breaking down, breathing fire, just like, I saw that scene. Wow. It sounds like she can hurt her to see the but that's pretty much what she's doing. I'm going to if I feel bad about her breaking out, because... Because at this point, she was getting not only drunk with power, but also was clearly going explicitly out of her mind with it. Which is ultimately why she was a very, like, on the king kind of look for yeah, it. It's, it's why just, I always it's, say it's like I just, I just, I just really can help you. Know, for everything, every four of that she has done. But again, so that's what Dr. Kim is doing. I kind of got the rail for that. But that was the only thing that she got involved in. But that's kind of what I look at this thing sort of as. And also, I feel there's another element to this, where specifically, when there's a group of people who really hate that a particular group of people are going to enjoy something that's like, there. Like how, like how uh, some people, like, the movie part is trying to, uh, is trying to come with the expectation at the that, you know, that uh, J.J. Abrams is, uh, is pandering to um, the, those who are critical of uh, because people have to also Show understand, on, first of all, J.J. Abrams, yes, even though he has a Twitter, he rarely speaks on it. I think he only has like five got a crawler. Twitter account since he ended up creating it. Like, first of all, and second of all, another aspect of this is that these people aren't really actively involved in internet discourse. I can promise you, J.J. Abrams isn't going up on Reddit and being like, ooh, I wonder what the uh, that's why he said in his interviews, yeah, I love The Last Jedi, I wish I wrote it. And no, nothing in the, it, which is kind of funny because he was even someone making the argument that no, nothing in The, La in the Rise of Skywalker contradicts The Last Jedi, though it seems as if he started backpedaling on that, and it's like, but it doesn't really. I guess because, yeah, and also because a lot of these people, again, there's also, because I see this especially with the pro TRJ Enemy crowd, eliminated. which is specifically because they look at the idea that a, that a particular group of fans, that because they are going to enjoy something, they vehemently despise it. So in the case of the Luke Skywalker yeah, stuff, it's definitely not a serious sum um, thing. It's just like... So yeah, for that person. This is something that on normal circumstances they probably would have been But for them, they were like, oh wait, but this actually feels like something the, the people I vehemently dislike, for whatever stupid reason, it gives them joy, and that's yeah, bad. And it's honestly, not this a is a pretty common or something. Nice and honestly, even Moody Bob cool. himself actually made a good example of this from years back. Like, Connor, do you remember that shakeup Marvel Comics did where they diversified a bunch of their original characters? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, like years ago. But they backtracked somewhat, but um, these are looking up for more. So, yeah. So yeah, that's why um, even movies all, uh brought up with that. Like, if you knew superhero comics, you would know that nice. that was going to be very temporary, and unless someone caught fire like Miles Morales, it was going to go back to normal. Bruce Banner would be the Hulk again, Tony Stark would be the Iron Man again, Steve Rogers would be Captain America again, etc. But the people who were pissed off on it, though, like the comics team, for instance, they weren't pissed off on it, like he mentions, like people not accepting Matrix and Supergirl because they missed Terra, or people not accepting Kyle Rayner and Steve Larson because the Parallax story was extremely nice. dark. Even for, um, oh yeah, because, because, well, because how Jordan would, uh, 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 went on to be like a bad murderer. <laughs> and so, yeah, it, and he got it. lightly. Like, did he have a face to face to face to face to face to face to he just ended up sacrificing his life for it and uh, uh, to try to stop people with his with all of that. And they also altered for a action even to gain Spectre. But basically, they were left handed by saying he was possessed by the, by the uh, fear of God, the 
tears off. Her okay, that's again. bullshit. That's bullshit. I, I have, I have so, to, I'm sorry, that's kind of bullshit. So, yeah, basically, it's like, yeah, it was, it was a super dark turn for him. And honestly, he actually made two pretty good videos on the topic. And so, that, yeah, I think it was a kind of funny set off that he got from it, though. But, like, yeah, he admits it was super ballsy to try to do that. To not only turn Hal evil, but also to have him be a massive murderer. And then also having him replaced with a new young character that nobody had seen before. That, yeah, but unfortunately, people were super pissed off about it. Trust me, the loot stuff, the whole thing kind of stuff, that is, doesn't even hold a candle to oh, stuff shit. that, that stuff here. Yeah. But, yeah, he says that this kind of thing has to change thing normally. You know, this thought of... Like, they ended up even even Pick actually creating a dopey team that was called Howl's Emerald Attack Team. <laughs> I'm sorry. No what? Yeah, that was a real God thing. Damn. It happened. And so, like, and so they actually campaigned for 10 God years trying to end up doing that until Jeff Johns ended up reading the loop on stuff with the Green Lanterns and the Light in general that we from today. That basically the colors are the emotional spectrum. Okay, I, I like that. Power, I, that like, I, like, I like the emotional spectrum colors more because that actually kind of works. So yeah, they were doing that and, were, and saying that yeah, they the colors were also embodied by some god that represent them. Like the like a space whale that basically resembles um, the green lanterns, and for the yellow lanterns, it resembled the alien peril uh, the alien was parallax. So basically saying that yeah, he was in that Aldoran was possessed basically. So that way that the fans would have something that would say Excellent. that he was absolved of the of the horrendous things he did. Uh, okay, okay. Of all the of all the things, that's just that's just bullshit. That's that's bullshit. I, I had, I'm sorry. That's just that's just bullshit. I mean, I'm someone who's kind of like for the effort. yeah, kind of. But this is like. Uh, you kind of just have to go with it, basically. As far I, as I know I'm going with it, but I'm I'm still going to be grumpy about it. Like, really, I'm not going to follow about it. Haven't faced haven't haven't faced the consequences because that is such a waste. First of all, so yeah, Multiple like that is something spotted. that got ugly with it. Um, shit. Like, but back to the fan service thing I was saying with it. But yeah, basically, that it wasn't things like uh, like that though, with people not accepting that, or people not accepting the right to decide to do things. So I know that it's really freaking weird. Yeah, I'm gonna lose it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm gonna lose it. The car has a. So, as you said, so it's not even from that, but rather because these people, like the comic space folks, really despise the idea that those dirty SJWs and those dirty feminists could have possibly liked the stuff. Uh, again, such as like Miles Morales, Amadeus Cho, or Jane Foster's Cho, I Amadeus Cho, whatever I got That's the um, Asian Hulk, basically. Oh! Oh, oh yeah, that guy. I kind of like him. He goes by, go by Thrawn now. So, so yeah, that's basically what it was from there, and that's how you can see in the standard circle, where when they think that a particular some oh, shit. is getting something, I'm uh, uh, they are getting something that they don't like, yes, it is in fact extremely heavy and stupid, but also with them to go for it, that's why the other reason why I fell out of the are now operating on it. They don't know what it is they want. They only just know what they don't want. And it's essentially and Raylos. they just and, don't and want. Some, and some railos, if I now that now they mention it, it's like that too. And so basically it ends up going into that circle where, again, being mostly focused on denying the people they dislike that kind of experience. It reminds me of what Zack Snyder did with where he was focusing his Stop Superman destroyed. not really on we things that he actually charge. is, but more so focusing on stuff that the Superman is not. So the Superman that we see is not from the comics, and he's definitely not Christopher Reeve. The Andrew Garfield Spider-Man movies have the same problem, yeah. mainly focusing on Andrew Garfield not being the Spider-Man from the comics and not being Tony Luke the Wire. And then you saw that when you focus yeah. solely on what you don't want, you end up getting very yeah. questionable results. Yeah, I, I, although I like uh, Andrew Garfield being a sarcastic, uh, smart, uh, sarcastic ass, but. I need to point out that he is too much of an ass because in the second Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man movie, he uh, he acted a little bit way Solid. too selfish, uh, for, uh, like uh, or more than necessary. You know what I mean? Nice. I get it. I mean, I didn't really watch the second one. I just basically watched um, um, watched um, watched a bunch of the, the first one, coming. and yeah, it had that feeling with it where basically it was entirely focused on. Focusing on what it didn't want to be rather than what it actually did. Most, like most of the time, uh, the TV show, uh, actually, speaking of, uh, if I remember right, 
like uh, there's a report, uh, there are like uh, like news reports that say that uh, one of my people is playing uh, and one of them is playing Ow! Oh shit! Uh, bad news, bad news. Um, I got some bad news. I I got some bad news. Major. Uh, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can. It's a, yeah, Major, it's just, it's just a heads up. Uh. Oh shit. Sorry, this is my girlfriend. I think it's just my girlfriend. I think it's just catch the back. Oh, sure. Uh, it just don't happen. Yeah, oh, yeah, sure. And, yeah, yeah. and speaking of, um, oh, uh, 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 I They slept together, it's like... Ah, uh, I just got to get back to the I just Okay, so yeah, that's clearly what they were going for. But the problem is, it was something that was really marketing all of the films that the marketing started up with it. Uh, so, shit. Uh, so it has the same problem with the Wonder Woman uh, seeing Batman v Superman, where it's very obvious that was meant to be a giant surprise. But, because Marvel decided, hey, okay, this could be something that could bring in people, why don't we do that? Do you so, have to say, uh, would that be the same problem with Spider-Man in Captain America 2 and 4? I guess, yeah. Honestly, 
was a recent thing with that, where basically Spider-Man's introduction was supposed to be, oh, hey, it's there, but I'm also not sure if it's entirely applicable, considering that he used Peter Parker, and he's confirmed with Spider-Man before the Earthquakes, and he's an intentionally recruited for that. So I'm not really sure I can say that's exactly what he's saying. That's a that's fair point. Anyway, um... Is mainly the stuff involving Egypt and the Middle East in the film, which is definitely just very honestly like this is the aspect where you see I find a lot of criticism as either be overblown or at least if not outright stupid. This is a this is a Maxia bit that's honestly 100 percent justified in everything that was shown. Like again, having it where essentially like a giant wall swings up. Um, to basically set, uh, set up and satisfy yet. some portion of... Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, and by the way, the reason why there was a wall and, and Steve Trevor had, somehow had to hijack the body is because of a uh, wish stone. And which nice. uh, then the main antagonist, uh, Max, oh, Max, Lord, uh, Max, basically, uh, had to take the game to the game that he caused all sort of the problems. Yes. Yeah, he did get it, and also he ends up with more as far as that, because of people saying it's a bit of a duffin, again, people are saying that they understand that the duffins are meant to be something, but that the plot ends up signifying in some manner or another. So in this case, the reason that they're going to be talking about it is that they're going to be a power. But unfortunately, again, this is going to be a much more important thing. Having a good shit up the show there, from having the Muslim who have that kind of stuff saying that, yeah, I want this person there to be to have that for the, uh, for the, This is just a film that has really a lot of uh, problems in the representation of what it did for it. Yeah, like uh, they they, they handled that. that, they nailed it in the first one of the movie. And get ready for another round. And again, specifically having a like yes, the U.S. president also asked for more Excellent. nuclear weapons as well. But again, Good it's job. that thing where you didn't have to really do Sweet. that. Yeah, there's just some, a lot of, uh, from what I can get, gather, a lot of unnecessary, uh, parts in, in movies. It's like, really? Yeah, I was like, really? Who thought this up? Uh, and I look at the list of producers and writers, it's, uh, Patty, uh, Ch uh Patty, uh, Patty, uh, Alright, here they come! Jenkins? Yeah, uh, Jenkins is a good director, but, I'm, uh, but, he was, uh, 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 he's not, uh, for Charlie Hurr, I'm quite sure he's trying to write. Because you do know that these films also have multiple writers and also play as well, so they can't even say the words to her, which is I find a lot of people. That's really good for that. Writers exist on it, but the director doesn't do everything for it. Otherwise, it's a great one to be a one woman to have that one to see it. Funny, oh, look at, oh, look at, uh, funny now. Anyway, um, the guy, uh, the guy, uh, the guy, the guy, I'm not good with names right now because I'm like focusing on this game and I'm trying to come up with the name. Especially the A bad case game is, it's just like keeping on in the ball. Which ball? Yes. Also, oh, I'm starting to get out of because I realized that was cute. Yeah, I can. It's just again, my girlfriend is just saying something and I'm just trying to respond to it. Um, so, yeah, I'm just doing that. Um, we can just keep going though, like, I'm still gonna respond. I'm yeah. just gonna put my avatar like stay there. Stay tight, asshole! Alright, yeah, so, it's like... Uh, uh, yeah, Sheriff, uh, 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 Sheriff Duffy, he's one of the, actually one of the three people at, um, uh, at... Body support! Alright, thanks. Okay, no problem. what's next? <laughs> Fuck. Ah, shit. Could you pick me up? On me! Now! Alright, um... So yeah, it was, so yeah, anyway, um... I lost my train of thought for a second. So, anyway, uh... Da, 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 da. Gonna flatline soon! Da, 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 da. Thanks for that. I, I, I gotta look it up real quick. Sorry. Uh... Oh, you see, uh, what was it? Jeff, uh, 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 Jeff, 
uh, Jeff uh, Johns. There we go, Jeff Johns. I think he was one of the writers for the, for the movie, which I'm not sure who to blame. It's just like I really do hope it's just an update, uh, just an off day for uh, for Patty um, Jenkins, because I like her as a director. And ooh, I got a notification. Oh, shit! I, I, it's connected. Deploy. Oh. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh, hey, what the hell happened? Uh, this yeah. Xbox app problems, I guess. So yeah, I, so I was saying, so I looked over at, at that list of writers. I'm looking at. at, at the, uh, not to say that Patty Jenkins doesn't have some way because again, she did not end up as a favorite her, but she's not the sole person to play for that. Because again, these movies are also multi-person jobs. Yeah, I'm looking Get at the, uh, the produced by Charles Wolven, Deborah Snyder, Zack Snyder, Brilliant. Patty Jenkins, and Gar uh, Gar uh, Gar uh, Gar Owen. I probably should bring up about like the part, uh, the, we should probably bring up the part in, in that movie where uh, Gap, where uh, Wonder Woman uh, saves a bunch of kids from a uh, missile. You talk, you've probably seen you probably seen the nice movie. Uh, I know, I have seen the movie, so I know the scene you're talking about. And yeah, that has come in conflict because she actually supported the uh, bombings that that Israel had done. I believe was in Palestine in uh, 2014. Yeah, Gaza in 2014 was like. Really, so we were really a oh, weird. Oh, that's a really weird thing to reference, by the way. Really weird reference. Like, Good I get shit. what they were doing because it is a classical superhero thing to do. Basically, there's something that's going to kill a bunch of uh, people, whether that's a missile, uh, a piece of rubble, or whatever it is, and they swoop in and just uh, save them Multiple from it. It's very spotted. much that. But it's just rather that because the movie specifically ended up having, uh, they ended up having real world competition. So therefore, the personal politics very much got into that, and obviously because that's a particular thing to work with, do we just... Really? That's... that... this is like... Alright, I'll, I'll leave you be for a second. Oh, shit. Yeah, so... Okay, got it. Uh, pack, uh, pack you up. Hey, nice one right there. So, uh, uh, that's a nice shot right there, right there. So. Okay. Excellent. Shit. Okay, I'll give I'll give him a couple of minutes. At least we're on wave ten. That's the that's the Incoming flash! Hey, you got MVP, nice. And suddenly we, uh, there's like got some sign for, Get building, like, people. stuff. Excellent. Okay, gotta level that shit up. Nice. Oh, there we go. Securing the tap. Got hostiles on our perimeter. Ah shit, uh gotta get gotta keep moving. Gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. Ooh. Oh yeah, there we go. Ow. Ow. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. I was I was talking but I forgot that I had my mic because my grandmother watches the door. But I did it, yeah, it's probably like all the Muslim stuff. I just need to get just to have that to a lot more. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a lot more. 
Again, I just shoot them all the way. You're done! And ultimately, it does end up tampering. Uh, yeah, if you're going to yeah, approach no, these very sensitive topics, make sure you have people here. Yeah, and it, 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 it's, one, it's one throwback that nobody ever needs. And that's the joke, right? <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. that kind of right. So we're the virtual like from oh, you know Stranger Things. By the way, I recommend my short yeah. recommend Stranger Things. So yeah, try to have something like that. And yeah, he just has that kind of baby feeling. Uh, with it. Okay, so that's kind of the thing. You know, it is not the only thing I wish that Cole and Oliver Father she has, because again, I love her with the record team, and the record team, I love having full. movies I found abysmal. Yeah, I just hope this is just an off day for Petty Ch uh, Jenkins. I, I really do hope it's just an off day. Because I'm pretty sure it is, because she's done more in. work that I gonna like than ones one. I haven't, so therefore, I can't really act like this is going to be something there, because again, oh, okay. like, I love Steven Spielberg, but he's also made films that I don't have any care for, uh, such as like his uh, remake of World of Worlds or Ready Player One, or James Cameron, I love his stuff, but I don't really consider Avatar to be his best work, it's honestly for me really Yeah, speaking boring. of Avatar, I'm so surprised that it made a lot of money for such uh, a property, uh, uh, like a very original uh, property. It's, you have to, you have to admit that is astonishing for such uh, for such a movie that is. Multiple hostiles spotted. No question. It's launching. Uh, Multiple yeah. Yeah. I'll have to give, I'll have to give a prompt for that. Really bad. It's gonna be a flash fire. Five minutes later. I think I think the whole thing is gonna be fine. So I'm gonna see my uh my, uh, my brother, my dad, yeah, the bomb and I with the first. I don't do that. Yes, sir. Yeah, Niva. Niva. Yeah, uh, movie produced by uh, 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 yeah, it's honestly Yeah, you're right. Funny enough, since we're playing uh, Gears 5, I actually tried out the, the, the high parts of CLC. My favorite parts are, folks are when the, uh, when the, uh, when the, when the, uh, ship... It's just that when I, when I think of stuff like, because the Wonder Woman stuff is coming in, though, yeah. I just think also that there is just a difference with, between something that is problematic, at least an idea, a lot of the stuff with Steve Trevor being in another person's body, but I do want to put a point that I'm not here to say that just because that something sketchy happens in media doesn't mean it cannot be effective for it, such as like for instance, like I was recently watching Foldable Humans, Whoop. um, uh, reviews on, uh, <laughs> That was my brother's, uh, hey there. 
So I just I just heard my brothers like barging in. So anyway, what you were saying? Um, I was saying like that it is something that can actually have um real world focus on it though. So yeah. I am here to say that it can have it. So for instance, like I was recently rewatching Unfolding with Humans where he was saying on the uh, Fifty Shades of Grey stuff because for a lot of mainstream audiences, this was something that introduced them to the concepts of BDSM or at least something that introduced them to vaguely what it was though. Although I can definitely attest what is in the movie is very much not what it is there, yeah. particularly in how unhealthy it portrays it. <laughs> yeah, along with uh, what happened in uh, One Woman 1984, um, because that I version, think of, the yeah, that version the two... of that version of Superman being a mopey asshole and Batman being just like this uh, raging murderer, just like why should I care about these 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 like, people? Like that's what I say is the difference because I do think that because whereas one though with like the body swapping thing is more so problematic at least when it has thought with like with the internal logic that's like so you are having sex in a guy's body when he doesn't know what's going on so therefore you can actually argue that it is rape whereas it's something that is more problematic at least in idea yeah, rather like... than on point whereas something like 50 shades though which has real world uh, things that are there though for it like specifically mm -hmm. like with how people think that BDSM is because yeah a lot of people walked away from it that's like oh so that's what BDSM is that's very, that's, very uh, abusive okay. and then people in the actual communities have to go no it is not like this at all it is a faster <laughs> oh yeah of all it's of the thing oh yeah uh, <laughs> how much money did it make these uh, is there uh, does how many movies? the first one actually made I think was like over 500 million dollars and then the later ones made about I believe was another three to four hundred billion dollars each if I remember correctly yeah Oh, and getting back to uh, Star Wars, you ever heard of what happened with the Star no, Wars? No, but like, wait, but, what happened? Oh, uh, you know the Star Wars three guy because he had he freaked out about well, about one of the employees at uh, Lucasfilm making a sarcastic. Pablo tweet. Hidalgo. Yeah, just he like was, he's the um, head of the Lucasfilm uh, story group and has been for like about well, actually quite a long time since oh. the Disney acquisition, actually. Yeah, and he made a sarcastic tweet that was supposed to be like make a sarcastic tweet and and is. Defending Star Wars theory for whatever reason, and he's the one that, uh, and he's the one that turned against Pablo for making this right. This weapon. It's just that he, uh, pa uh, Pablo apologized for his tweet, but Star Wars. There was really nothing to apologize for because one. Anyone who's read his tweets knows he's very sarcastic, first of all, and second of all, he did that in defense of Star Wars Theory as well. It's yeah, a misunderstanding, it's... But he, but Star Wars Theory should have reached out in private. It's like, do you mean to say that? Just like... But of course, he's a YouTuber. He then saw, oh shit, this is actually very... This is something that can cause a lot of drama. And drama means clicks for my channel, which already is one of the bigger Star Wars channels. I hate him even more for that, because he is, like, probably the biggest Star Wars channel that's there. So therefore, anything he says is going to be seen as being representative of the fandom. <laughs> I mean, honestly, at least for the online portion, he really is representative yeah, of it. Yeah, and, I mean, and, and then he goes on with other... Toxic with, assholes. Yeah, and goes on with other toxic assholes. One, it's like... Yeah, you don't deserve that apology. Like, Star Wars 3? In the unlikely event that you somehow managed to find this on Twitch or YouTube or whatever, you, given the way that you've acted, given the way that you've escalated it, you don't deserve Pablo's uh, apology. At all. Because again, it's very much him who very much wanted to go with his whole, oh, hey, so how can I also make it with another thing? Because he has done this before about Lucasfilm uh, employees who insult the fans. Like, I like still remember you, when Andy uh, he, he, was being, he insulted, was being you masked for masks, because in the background... Yeah, you as huh? in, uh, you as in, um, uh, Star Wars Theory. So it's the theory you have it's yeah you, know, you have insulted other like uh like uh people who work for Disney and Lucas Films because they did things that you did not like. I still remember when Andy Gutierrez, who was a who was the uh, main host of the Star Wars show, where because I, in the background of like I think one video she was in, there was an X across Luke Skywalker, and these people were throwing a huge fucking uh, ape shit fit, fit saying that it was disrespecting. How? And it's like, 
yeah, I still thought, like, how... Like, how did you come up to that conclusion? It's just, it just means, like, he's dead. That's... Like, do that kind of joke all the time. Like, they even did that after Maul's death in Rebels, a spoiler, I guess, um, for that, where they even have a segment where, um, where Pablo Hidalgo is, like, over his grave, and he's like, he was one day for retirement. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dark humor, that's, oh, that's fine. It's just, like, do these people have a chip on their shoulders? I don't know that. Um, honestly, it's always something with people on the internet, always the most perplexing thing to understand. But, uh, bar, but for the, but basically everything that oh, I do can do another uh, match think with on this, I uh, have to refresh real quick on something. Yeah. Also, uh, um, right, get, get three kills with heavy weapons. So let's just do at least uh, one horde match and then we'll do versus so we can finish off the thing. Re uh, refresh one of your um, first two medals so that you can get more stars. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a good idea. So, okay. You ever seen that uh, the uh, Soul movie by Pixar on Disney Plus and stuff? I heard really good things about that movie. Really, really good things. I have as well, though I've also heard, at least from black people mainly, that they feel more mixed on it. Mainly uh, because it seems as it because the black character is mostly a... Um, Not mostly. I ac I actually kind of checked it. Uh, his, his time as a Soul didn't last very long. From that, at least from what I read on it. Um, for it, but also just because there's that uh, another element where they felt as if it was sec. more so for white like people. Yeah, sure. There we go. Uh, uh, okay. Sorry about that. You were saying? Hello? Oh yeah. Um. Oh so oh so all I was just saying was just um. Um, yeah, mainly just from that. I still plan on seeing it eventually. I yeah, I, I, I also plan on seeing it. it. I have really good things, and it really, and I heard it really get a good job with a lot of stuff. But, but, so, um, I'll definitely have to go see it just when I can. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, at the end of the day, like, that's just only, um, shit, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel you there. <gasps> So that's just what it is at uh, the end of these here. things, but at least we have other stuff to look forward to. Apparently Star Wars Visions, the uh, 10, uh, the limited series thing that is going to have uh, anime creations be a part of it, is coming out next year. But next year? Uh, no, it's one exactly next year. Uh, nice. Just a general 2021 release date, but I would imagine with everything, probably is... deploy. I imagine we'll probably get Bad Batch first because looking at how it actually Yeah, do you know, uh, one, one of the uh, members of that Bad Batch, he looks like Rambo. I'm just, one, I just want to say that. He looks like Rambo, like Rambo in Star Wars. I wouldn't be surprised yeah, if they, if they don't with that. His, Enemy I don't remember his name, but I know who you're talking about. Yeah, does he call, uh, does he, is he like, does he act like, uh, does he act like Rambo, like, with his gun and everything? No, he's actually the most common character because he's the leader. <laughs> Huh! That is kind of funny. The thing is, the original Rambo was actually oh, so okay. he was more common collected. Oh, okay, very that's much just in the fights. Oh. Drop one. Which actually kind of surprised the part that how he was portrayed in uh, Mortal Kombat. Another day, another dead drone. I mean, yeah, that's the thing with it because Rambo from the first movie is much different God, from what yeah. he would be in the sequel. Okay, I I probably should keep my uh, uh my perceptions in mind. Threat neutralized. Yeah, because that, like that's always what I think of it. Because when people talk about characters being radically changed, oh, though, and, as in not like what they used to work, yeah, that's what the Rambo movies did with him, basically. Huh. Like that's why in the first My movie, like, he's a guy, it's very loud and he has a very hard time dealing with even a bunch of police officers. But then the next movie, Pick he's pretty much taking on the Soviet Union and winning. Yeah, the Soviet Union and uh, stuff. The Vietnam. Vietnam. Like I think the fourth, uh, fourth uh, Rambo movie, and then Mexican cartels in the fifth. So, yeah, basically going with that. All right, let's do multiplayer, so that way we can... Do you, did you finish your new medal? Uh, All no, clear. not yet. Time I gotta to check. Uh, I n I'm gonna need uh, eight more uh, assault rifle kills. And... All right. Fuck, five kills with grenades. Well, gotta, uh, gotta stick uh, some grenades in and some, um... Uh, and some assholes. I'll take it. Right. Yeah, you know that's gonna be taken the wrong way, right? Sweet. Probably, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, Good just gonna shit. stick some um, uh, grenade in this, up in this asshole. So... <laughs> fuck. Now I forgot what I was about to say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is, it because my, is, is it because of my joke? I'm pretty sure it is. Eyes up! Yeah, it Enemies is. inbound! <laughs> but, um... Yeah, no. that's just what my I My jokes or I, I, I don't know if, if my jokes were so bad or so funny that they derail thoughts. That's impressive. Yeah. Clean kill. Yeah, that's just um, what I focus on with this. But yeah, especially because he's my uh, YouTube. Whenever I watch a Star Wars explaining video, one of the few YouTubers who actually is in total uh, garbage and actually makes really good content at his I feel so from it. But yeah, seeing the recommended videos on the retconning the sequel stuff. The retcons always are something that, as I always say with how people handle them, I always say it ultimately comes down to age. Specifically the age of two things. The age of the retcon itself, and how old the person actually was when the retcon was gone. So for instance, why are people able to accept something like being Luke Skywalker's father, but not um, Ray being um, uh, oh, something like Ray Hulk. Uh, well, it's his gra uh, granddaughter, and the answer to that is also the answer to that is a good thing that most of the people who are learning about it, they're in the 20s, maybe the 30s, they're in the 30s, they're in the 30s, they're in the 30s, they're in the 30s, pretty much. It means that you've been that um, Darth Vader being a being Luke's father has been a back to the series for as long as you've been watching Star Wars. So as far as you were concerned, that was much a matter of fact to it as Thomas and Martha Wayne being Batman's parents was. And it's the same logic as with Lance Skywalker. So it's like, yeah, that came out in 1983. So again, unless you're under the age of 50 years old, yeah, uh, yeah, the way they recon it, it's like, uh. They kiss twice uh, throughout the entire film. It's just like, just, <laughs> I just love how, how like, oh, how and there's a reason why this is like to this day. It's not really seen as some huge, like, fundamental part of writing. No, it's just joke. It's about, it's like, hey, that's kind of been sass, but it's done in a joking, uh, kind of joking manner. Yeah, it's like, I just love how, like, Collins, like, just looks like, oh. And, and also, it just also just kind of bugs me that uh, Luke and Leia are look so different. Like, I'm expecting like twins to be at least look uh, look so, uh, look uh, somewhat the same. Just like they have different eye colors. The thing about actors is that they really can't manage that, so you just have Enemies to go with down, but hey, not it's out. the plot. Gotta and regroup. actors unfortunately can't replicate their physical looks with it, so it's kind yeah, of a and, just go with and, it. And, and, it's, and it's, it seems like um. Oh yeah, just like George Lucas pulling stuff out of his ass. So I mean, that's what you'll do as any writer, really, when you're writing these movies. That's why I find it funny when the when people who specifically criticize the sequel trilogy, it's like you do know the OT can be criticized in the exact same manner, right? Because no one does movies like that. You got it. Because the whole hyper planning thing is worth a shit so really hyper what you can do. Oh, because spot. here's just, the thing just about twelve percent of a plan, you know, like Star Wars. So again, here's the thing I always say about these big plans that people, even someone like Star Wars explains, thinks he wants. Basically, the thing about plans is you have to say, is the conclusion that you're showing the good of you? Are there any more stories How could you support the greatest individual story for me? Which is always the question you have to answer. I remember, I remember how the Mass Effect 3 was in the end. Oh, it was bad. So yeah, basically for that, that's ultimately what it, what it boils down to. So that's why when people talk about things like about massive plans and such, because ultimately it is you, it, that's why whenever anybody does that, people know, wait, it just feels like these things are being set up for new reasons. I, I still do like, yeah, because I still remember like, when oh, I watched like Batman I'll, I'll, and uh, Superman. I Batman for like, Superman I, and Amazing I, I and the mummy, honestly, because I still remember, especially with Batman v Superman, when watching it because of seeing this movie always setting up a whole bunch of stuff for Steve Jobs and spinoffs, and even Justice League being guilty of it, though not as much. Good, because it was not even doing too much of it, it was doing as minimal as it could. Especially. Yes, Dark Side is the main character, but before that, we have Steppenwolf. Oh, and also there's all these other things that, happen, that these other characters have already experienced. And setting up all this groundwork, and then it's like, wait, what about the actual plot of the movie that we're Just slow down and give us, more, like, Marvel, just like, oh, like. Whereas Marvel, on the other hand, doesn't do that. And again, people who think that they hyper plan their stuff, they don't. That's why their movies really don't have any connected tissue. <laughs>
That's why the events of Ant-Man pretty much only exist in the first movie of Ant-Man, and they're not events that are later referenced in other movies, because it wasn't really needed. And I can promise you the Russo brothers with the last two Avengers films were also pulling stuff out of their ass with it. Like the whole plan of, Gra of Thanos being, yeah, I'm going to wipe out half the universe because of resources. Yeah, that was not established in prior movies. They made that up in that movie, because they operate on a, we'll cross that bridge once we get there. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have the same uh, same idea with my fanfic uh, ideas because Strap in. I'm be uh, on tar. Uh, I may change my uh, might change my mind. It's my eyes as I have. Like, wait a minute. This because again, better. that's what you ultimately have to do as a writer. Solid. Because yeah, when Stan Lee and Jack Kirby and all those other and the other nice. comic book legends, when they were write, when they were writing these stories, they weren't Excellent. setting out to do a super hyper planned out universe. They were just making comic books, doing whatever ideas that they could do, and then putting them into comics uh, before. Uh, I still, I still recommend you check out uh, my uh, stories, um, uh, Shadowhawk. I think you. I'll definitely it. try to. But I'm saying, like, yeah, as a storyteller, that's what you're going to do. As for the stuff you're going to do, you're just going to mix stuff up as you go Yeah, well, oh, the, the, like the, 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 the orb in my story is that comes from the orb. Yeah, so it's shit. I did it's not like plan this. Something in the story, you'll keep it. Yeah, uh, the, the uh, weird-ass orb that appears in some of my picks. Impressive! Yeah, I did not, uh, I did not 100 plan this at all. It's just like, it's, it's like, 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 it's there's something you like, there's something you don't like, you change it or you throw it out. Or you just uh, or you just get some other stuff. Or you yeah, yeah. Or, I remember this movie that I was like, well, you have to do this that never makes sense, such as how the past is a time that I think you're going to eight to ten years old. You ask the world to use more than I think you did. Or even the time that I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to college now. But wasn't he like in high school, like, in the last year's high school? I think the answer is the best And stay down! We're just like, when did these things happen? Now. I did uh, Thanos for the show. A few years ago. Just don't think about it. Just don't think about it. I like Movie Bob's point of that, but let's be honest. I think that's I can't think of that, but I guess I do. Yeah, I have a problem with that. Honestly, Kenobi kind of always rolls off the top on time quite nicely. That there were scenes that you couldn't cut out. Talking it's like up. because these are related to that, and if you remove these particular scenes, then your entire third movie is ruined. <laughs> and saying, oh, and you can't remove these Got scenes the because way. it's the foundation building, of your people. third movie. And that has them screaming into a pillow over the conundrum. <laughs> That's my brother again, if you heard that. Well, what is he referencing? I have no idea. Solid. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, okay, that actually is pretty funny. Okay. So yeah, that's always what I um, what I try to mention with. <laughs> anyway, yeah, back, to back to oh, yeah. Back to yeah. Oh, okay, give me a second. He's laughing. He's laughing. Skill shot. Sorry about that. It's just like yeah, my brother decided to derail the train for for chicks and guilds. 
just but like, anyway, confirmed. back to what I was trying to say before with that. But, yeah, I just want to say that, yeah. And also, I say this with personal ones and others, but I want like to a surgeon. If you want to know how exactly your fanatics can understand your various ideas, I do encourage you, write your own story, gotcha. and then after you do so, whether you want to do a trilogy or whatever, when you get to the conclusion, I want you to jot... It helps yeah, to have an outline, every but... single thing that you consider, that you consider, whether it was visually well, yeah, or not. When you have a plan, make sure it's only, and make sure it's only, like, help us have a plan. Now, you don't know, help, 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 help us have a plan. So, yeah, like, you try to do something like that. It's not a general idea for what it is, but you want to make sure that you don't feel like everything has to be considered for this conclusion you're building up to, because again, that's what you see in your movie, and when you go to that route, every movie you wait for the conclusion just feels like it's setting up for the later movies. <laughs> like yeah. again, this is also a hot moment because they don't have to focus on how they connect things, or they just come with like very, Let's like, passe kind of, uh, not passe, but like sort of just, uh, very generic, like, so wait, so all the missions in the end of war are in New York, so where were they during the first Avengers? Oh, they were there! Yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, and, oh, and, and the, uh, and the ancient one's just, like, he's just, like, killing all these, uh, alien stuff, and, like, it's like, uh, yeah, it's like, 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 I would, I would like most bullshit in like in like well like I can saw like most things in movies, but they like in uh things like in One Woman 84 are just like no. no. So I, just, I still like some of the things that are there, especially the whole theme of letting go, which yeah. I think is always something that people should do. Like especially when Wonder Woman is very much not wanting to renounce her wish because she Excellent. feels that she's never gonna love again. That. Um, that Steve, that um, Steve Trevor like is basically like the butter, only man. Like Buttercup from uh, from uh, the Princess Bride. How it, in what in what sort of way? How does uh, she? I will that? never love again. Uh, you know, after she believed that Wesley died. Uh huh. So yeah, like I do think that's a great thing to be able to have in a movie, though, about people who have to get past a stage of grief to where even they if they can mourn for it not have it be an active detriment to their whole lives. Yeah, though the execution may, may be, uh, left to decide. I still think it, it illustrates the point very well for me, but I can understand why it would be for others. Again, it's perfectly fine with me, because I'm not interested that you didn't understand it. Yeah, I feel it's a very geekish answer when people go with that, because they can sometimes make the movie sound essentially more clever than what yeah, the movies are very much to do it, and that's obvious if you were watching it. It's why I kind of very much respect it when I see that on Twitter, trying to be like, oh, this movie, it has these super big themes, and it's like, yeah, I knew that. Sometimes it can be like, again, getting done suddenly, but there are times that it's solid. How the prequels were secretly genius because of how it was portraying the Jedi, and I'm like, but yeah, I knew that yeah, for I a long time. Uh, I think it doesn't mean that it's uh, now it's not always here. Like, I do think it's good though. I do enjoy it though. Yeah. And I, still think I, I, I always do say that. Again, I, I, I kind of say I, it's okay if you don't. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I feel that there's always this problem, and I feel that YouTube has really perpetuated this. Reject destroy. Where whenever you say that you like a movie, you have to essentially portray it as flawless. Essentially, this thing that not only is something that you can do in the metaphor, but also how nobody makes things the way this has. This is honestly a big problem with people who are big fans of Ripley, because people who stand to be fans of it, which is why a any particular character, I feel like Ripley fans are probably in the top five. I feel for character fans, the most obnoxious ones are Goku fans. They are the most Goku? obnoxious. Goku? Really? Honestly, when I meet them, I'm like, yeah, they are obnoxious. I got the story for them other day. But I mean, it's kind of like that, when you can't just appreciate a character because they do things super well, you like the story of them. No, 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 let's take it a step further, or ten steps further. They are super unique. There's no character that has come like them since then, etc., etc. It's like, dude, it's okay. There could be other characters that have come out since then, but this character resonates with you for this or that reason. Yep. And also it comes with that other thing where we have to always portray anything we Solid. like or love as basically being these things that are hyper nice. unique. And especially, they don't have flaws. I love Fallout New Vegas. I have so many flaws I could point out to it. It's still a great freaking game. Yeah, it, yeah, it is. It is. Like, like, for example, there's not much to attach yourself to, like... Bullion? Uh, uh, 
Not only that, but we with the second half of the game coming. for Hoover Dam sites. Why should I get personally get involved with uh, Hoover Dam? I mean, maybe because it's a place that can hold the earth. Yeah, but of course, no, of course, no, yeah, of course, no, it's easy to say that now. Hey, 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 we want, no, we, hey, we want you uh, to uh, join us for Hoover Dam for reasons. For what? No, it's a place because they need all the manpower they can get because yeah. it is something that requires a lot of reasons to hold and also because the region is really doing to take it over. Yeah, but so I, said, like, I said yeah. for, I said for, like, for, I feel. Yeah, I was it's a game that's long yet somehow yeah, a New Vegas feels rushed because it actually kind of was in its development. Also because of other things, just how the Legion feels very much developed. Um, because they end up feeling like they're supposed to be bigger than that. And also because where the other factions have a lot of nuance, the Legion doesn't have it. Yeah, in hindsight, it's probably better for the Legion not to have the nuance. Not to have the what? Not to have that kind of nuance because... I'm looking at the alt right here. It's like this is, is I, 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 I said it before. It's like the the, 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 the is like the alt right's wet dream. Like I get that, but again, if you're when it comes to nuance, though, sure, you can have some groups who are trying to have that ball, but it would have been better if for the Legion, there was actually a reason to side with them at all, because even whether from a gameplay or a moral perspective, there's nothing they offer that the other factions can't not only offer, but give better offers for. Like, like let's take... Let's take morality. That's out of the way. They're they're slaveholders. They're rapists. Every other sin you can imagine. Also, okay. So what about a gameplay upgraded. perspective? Maybe they offer a lot of enticing nope. perks. Yeah, they uh, don't. like <laughs> side with them, and you lose out some powerful companions in, uh, like Boom and uh, Cass. Heck, you can't even keep Arcade. Right? Oh, the only campaigns you can keep are Lily, Raul, and the non companions. Yeah. Oh, shit. Right. Like that's the thing with me. And Veronica, but uh, by the no, Veronica and she's on the Yeah, because I talked about the game is very good artist. I don't know. It is a guarantee that you will um but I can guarantee that no matter where you are in this, these are the people who are going to be Compare that to the Outer Worlds. Compare to the Outer Worlds, where if I for if I remember right, um, there's there's an idea. there's actually some like siding with certain people actively will do, uh, siding with one group does actively um, do so of siding with another regardless. Hey, with this, I didn't expect you. 
Fortification oh, hey there. Upgraded. Oh, hey, we got we got a sonic guest. Hey there. Where's where's Sweeney, by I the way? I guess he saw us playing Gears and he just wanted to join. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, sorry. So, hi there. Hi. We're streaming. Um, kind of awkward. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, here they come. Um, all right, I'm trying to find repair tool. There we go. Requisition. Repair tool. Ow, ow. Yeah, my mic is working. I was going to be like, what's up, Yeah, we're streaming, but are you okay with that? I mean, yeah. I mean, I won't. Uh, uh, it would be really funny if I was having to use the repair tool on uh, one of those balls. The ball robot thing. That's not what they call. Flashback! Ready to step things up. Yeah, we're doing the talk. I'll get you to walk the plane talk. Hey, uh, so what's this thing? Is it a ball? Uh, it's, it's probably just a hammer. Yeah, I know, but I don't know. Yeah, we're, we're talking about stuff like a run a woman. I honestly have to. Uh, uh, Securing the town! Yeah, but, oh, but okay. what we just said it, like, um. We were talking about Superman, a run a woman, 1984. Um. Oh. Mo right. Mostly that. And, oh yeah, we forgot to talk about the Cyberpunk. I count to the Ryan Steinstein fallout because. Damn, there's a lawsuit involved. I'm not kidding. Class action lawsuit. Oh, I remember, right? What kind of lawsuit that is? But damn, it's uh, it's bad. And I see like clips of the glit countless, countless uh, clips of all the Omiri glitches and stuff. Especially from like Highlight Reel, which has separated itself from Kotaku for some reason. And I could not stop laughing and asking myself, how did they fuck this up so bad? Oh right, it's City PR and Crunchy. It's just Am like, I, uh, it's just like, I'm sorry, it's just like, wow. I, I never heard anyone this bad, like, next to, um, Anthem has his problems. The, you know, Bioware and Anthem, and they had its problems. Fallout 76 and Bethesda, that had problems, but they fixed up again. with um, Fallout 76. They fixed that, and Anthem is on, well on, on its way, so, yeah. Wow. Know what to be, guys? I mean, yeah, but yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Well. Just like I just not don't have much faith in CDPR. You know what I mean? Yeah, it has it. 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 It has Partially by the oh, by Incoming the, uh, flashback! Oh, okay. Good to go. I was just gonna say to Alexis, yo Alexis. Got a tracker! Uh, if he's there. Yeah, he's or there, he's there, he's kinda like I AFK, I think. Out. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, he's playing, but he's like AF uh, uh, away from the micro uh, microphone. <clears throat> yeah, wasn't expecting yeah. to show up. Hey there. Uh, if um, I had to say hey there. Nice job! Uh, Dig in and get ready for more! Um, yeah, I'm just in the room chilling. Good uh, my shit. Family's watching the new yeah, happy uh, with... happy New Year, by the way. Well, not yet. To, uh, yeah, I know, but very early than never. Yeah. And yeah. oh my God, what a rough year! Fuck 2020, as like um, John Oliver said. And you thought 2016 was bad? Yeah. 
I mean, at least in 2016, I graduated from high school. Nice. 20, 2020, though, it's like... Eyes up! Enemies oh, inbound! Oh, actually, 2020, I did graduate from Valencia, though I still have UCF, but, like... Still. Hey, 2020, I... Ow. I got flashed. Anyway, uh, so in 2020, like, earlier this year, after my first DD uh, session stream, Ooh, I got it's so proud. So proud. Okay. Yeah, it, I, I was really happy about that because, um, you know, it's just, it's just so funny to the public in this day and age. That means I can be recognized as well, and, oh, at least you can be recognized Um... Yeah, uh, sometimes I sometimes go by corner. Okay. Uh, I don't know. 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 I don't uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. 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 I'm not like, investors tried to sue something over it, but it went nowhere because, again, try arguing in court. That's like, yeah, we thought that this wasn't going to make us as much money, but no. Or it still we thought, or we thought this product isn't stable. It's like. Because it ultimately comes down to they're trying to sue for what they were trying to argue is lost income, despite even the pre orders being better than any other game that I've eight, certainly ever been uh, aware of. Eight of and it's still right? selling, like, dumb fuck well. Yeah. Like, they already, the pre-orders themselves already made the game for it even. It's day one sales, and certainly day one sales, it'll already have exceeded expectations. Oh, shit. Uh, something, something made me drop. Uh, you want me to rest myself, or are you coming? Uh, I'll be coming over. Yeah. Oh, um, landing zone, right? Uh, or do you go by, do you want to be, go by, go by, uh, aren't you there? Oh, shit. It's done. Yep, that was stupid. I did something really stupid. I like, I like tried to plant a a, a, a grenade on one of the bosses, and I uh, paid for it. Want to return to the lobby or we start from current wave? Um, yeah, let's just return to the lobby. I think I'll just call it a night here. Yeah, it was really fun, and um. Ah, thank you for for thank you for joining at the, at the uh, tail end of this uh, landing zone. You guys, whew, what a year! And I hope. Uh, and I'm really I'm thirsty from all yeah I'm thirsty from all of this. Ah shit! Here we go. I disconnected, so give me a second to reconnect. Uh, join party. Oh. Hey! Nice! Wasn't expecting that! So, uh, okay, so give me a second, so... Yeah! Gotta see, uh, gotta message him, um, disconnected again from the party chat, because... Disconnected from party, uh, party chat, so let me know, so... Yeah, that should be about it. Um, yeah, unfortunately that he won't be able to say goodbye, but I'll be sure to say goodbye to him in his feed. <sighs> Fuck 2020, people. Fuck 2020. It's just... Yeah, it's just like a... Yeah. And with that, I'm gonna like be sure to see if I can host someone. I'll drop a host in a raid. And call this one a night. Give me a second. I got it. I got it. Hang on. I got an idea.
weird. Ah, uh, his mic isn't working for some. Oh, uh, isn't playing audio for some reason. So, um, I'll be. We'll be ending stream. We'll be ending. We'll be ending stream. Yeah, I sent. I sent a message. So, yeah, we. That should be about it. Oh, there we go. Technical issues is like a thing. We are experiencing technical issues. Yeah, I hate it when I had technical Hello? issues in the party. Hey there, landing zone. Uh, this is my Lucas. Um. Yeah, we're, we're, we're uh, so, I'm still streaming. We're just I'm just about to end it. So. Yeah. Okay. It's like it's uh, such a dumpster a fire of a tw of a year, huh? Uh, yeah, it was a pretty shit year, not gonna lie. Like, it, it's a shit year for everybody. Everybody. Funny enough, I, I always have it where it's like, I technically always have a girl with me. Each year, for the most part, they're relationship partners. I had a girl this year, she was a relationship partner, she was a girl I was hooking up with, yep. and it ended in a... Well, I don't want to say in a fire, but it didn't. It ended pretty badly. Let's I'm sorry to hear that. that. I'm sorry to hear that. No, no, no. It's not like it's not like a. I'm sad about it. It's more as in like, wow. Okay, I guess by then. <laughs> huh. Yeah, yeah. So, be sure. Uh, so I'll, I'll let uh, let him know that I'm going to be um, ending the stream. So I, uh, I'm going to invite him to the party real quick. Just be, just be. Oh, I invited him too. I think he's not going to join. I think he's just he left. Yeah, so you... So yeah, so do you wanna so do you wanna uh, go for uh play and talk next time? Uh I mean if I'm on sure but Yeah I'll let you know part... and I'll let it, I'll let you know when, when when the next time shows up, okay? Okay, for the most part with the new yeah. year I'm trying and, to... Okay, uh, uh so he says, Okay, it was great talking to you. See you in twenty twenty one and I, I will say the same thing to the rest of you. See you in 2021, right? Yeah, just see you all in 2021. <laughs> and let, and and here's to a and here's to hoping for year. a year of hope and uh, recovery. Yeah, Trump's gone. <laughs> no kidding. Jeez. So and so anyway, I wish you all a happy new year, and for setting uh, of of hope and recovery. Oh, yeah. We see you in 2021. See y'all. See ya.